In my spirit quest for the perfect camera, I didn't realize I could be disappointed so many times in a row by Satan, but here we are. Is there anything to look forward to in today's roadmap? We look at stuff, there's nothing, but continue watching the video. I, there's something at the end. Oh, stay tuned to the end. Just go home, we'll learn nothing. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. We are on a special kind of secret today. Oh boy, is this acceptable for our lives. YouTube confirmed. Um, yeah, we're on a Fuji. We're on the Fuji. Oh, eight to 16 mil, 22.8. We're out there. We're out there, autofocus catching me, no pulsing whatsoever. I'm manually focusing for some reason. I wanted to zoom, 24 mil. I will review this lens. Thank you, Camera Canada, for sending it to me. Not that I deserve it. <laughs> they sent something else as well, something much better than this, but it wasn't charged. So we're waiting. So while we're talking about the Fuji, X-H2, will it be better than the X-H2S? That seems to be the only thing coming somewhat soon. They delayed the announcement because they want to sell some of these S models. Nobody's gonna buy it. That's the wife of somebody who just spent, what, $2,500 on an X-H2S? She looked at her statements and was like, we can't afford uh, my heart. Here's what we know about the Fuji X-H2. 40 megapixels, that's a first on an APS-C. Don't quote me on that, but I think it's a first. It's not stacked, so it's gonna be cheaper. I was watching, the price apparently is 2,000 US. It was leaked. I saw some comments saying like, I thought it was gonna be much more than that. I was like, you don't even know any of the specs, you piece of donkey shit. <laughs> I thought it would be so much. Due to all the specs that we know, we know nothing. I feel like the X-H2 is just gonna be higher megapixels, slower speed, worse autofocus, worse stabilization, worse everything. Still having a left-handed dial for custom modes. It's gonna do 8K. I wonder if there's gonna be something better for video in that. But most things worse, but then it'll have like this, oh, ProRes 8K 60p though. But everything else in video sucks. It's not gonna have 4K 120p. When it comes to Canon, R7C. Let me tell you why you should not be excited at all as I back up and raise my voice to keep the audio intact. R7C is gonna make the same exact mistake as the R5C. They're gonna come out saying, we're hybrid. You just turn it off one way and on the next way. Movie, photos, different operating systems. What they're not gonna let you know in the press release is that when you're in the movie mode, you lose all the wonderful features of the R7. Animal eye detect, gone now. Auto exposure, gone. I was perusing the internet the other day. I saw a Canon C500 Mark II, which if you don't know, that's the pinnacle of what YouTube hood could be. A cinema cam, full frame, the best ever, way overkill. I think it's like 30 grand or something, but it was like 14 grand. I think it was 20 grand down to 14, but it was like a lot less. I was like, don't even, why are you pondering this? Just go to sleep. So I did. I think someone bought it immediately and it wasn't me and we suck. They got a bunch of cinema cams on the way. C200 Mark II. I just, now that I've seen what a Canon cinema camera is like, it's not exciting to me. It doesn't auto expose like a cinema cam should with shutter speed. I'm of the opinion that Canon is not what they once were. They used to be fun. They used to be leading the industry, but my industry says they're lacking in it. When it comes to the Olympus OM5, that's coming soon. Same sensor, same battery. Like how are you gonna put a stacked sensor in a tiny budget flagship thing's gonna be two grand. What are you doing? What's the difference gonna be? Not enough, I think. Is my nose that big? Why didn't you tell me? 
I wasn't wrinkled. If you relax the face, you're not wrinkled. I am beautiful. Uh-huh. So OM5, I don't know. I, I can't have a lot of excitement for Olympus. I think they're maybe a couple models away from just packing it in. This new company that bought them, I don't know, it might stay alive for a little bit, and you never know. The direction of our world could be headed in a super positive, happy place where every company just thrives. So if, like, some hippie shit like that happens somehow, Olympus could make a comeback, but... They're for, like, people who can't carry heavy things. They only buy crackers because they're light. They can't carry, like, a watermelon home. So it's like, okay, whatever I can carry home that really... Crackers, airless, like, rice noodles. You're not healthy. Those aren't devil's horns. You don't know what you're talking about. This is not Satan giving a speech here. I'm giving you valuable information. Respect your boundaries. When it comes to Sony, I it sounds like they're coming with a ZV-2 or something. Another vlogging camera with no stabilization, likely uh, like increased crop. We know it's going to be this. I'm vlogging. Will you watch it? I couldn't keep up with the speed. And the lens is so heavy it sunk. Oh god. Oh, why isn't there a tripod mount on this thing? I'm looking forward to it. What are you doing? What are you doing now? I actually hope it's coming out and it has 960 frames per second. They've improved it somehow. And it has a wider lens. Like, it might happen. You never know, Sony listens sometimes, so they could have, imagine it, Sony ZV-2 with the 15 to 30 or something. It's like, wow, look at that. I just, please put a motion trigger box like my phone does. I put a box right here, I arm it, and then I go out and run or do something. It's good content, trust me, you don't know what you're missing. So, if a phone can do it, you could do it. How are you supposed to record yourself if you have only like two seconds to record, you have to sprint back to your camera to stop the recording. Give me a break. Now Nikon, will they finally come out with something Z8 or Z6 Mark III? Flippy screen? I mean, we know they know how to do it now. The ZFC did it, and then their new Z30. It's the same Groundhog Day camera every year same exact thing but just the body changes it's a halloween mask people still wear them in the grocery store i don't know why they're doing it that's fine i'm open to using a nikon camera in here if they had a flippy screen i'm i'm curious to see what it would be like what are nikon colors all about i want to thoroughly test it i have not been able to get my hands on a z6 even to this day nobody has one for me to test I'm dying to know, so it would be nice. I would like to dedicate my Sony to wildlife. I want that 200 to 600, boom, here's my wildlife cam. And then I would probably want another studio cam so I don't have to change lenses. First world problems confirmed. So Nikon, I could dig it, but Sony color science is what keeps me with Sony. They're perfect in every way. Depending on how this looked, with its colors, Fuji. I saw that flash, by the way. I could picture getting the 18mm 1.4. Fuji is now my studio cam. I feel like I missed a company. I didn't write down anything for Panasonic. Wow, That's, they have left a void in my heart. I just, I don't see them doing anything. They're so good yet so stubborn. Like, will they ever? get autofocus that works. We've been complaining since autofocus was invented. It was like they were the worst at it. And people are like, why? Just grow up. I mean, I'm filming with a Fuji, which is sometimes worse than Panasonic, but just because you're better than a pig at painting doesn't make you an artist. You're just better than the worst thing in the contest. So I'm not seeing a ton of exciting things coming in the future. What's GoPro gonna do? GoPro 11, probably same tiny sensor, not much changed. Just a slight spec bump. 
little 4K 180p. I doubt it. Why would they? For 480 frames per second, who's going to be the first to actually do it and make it viable? Any phones coming? Huawei P60 Pro, maybe? I don't know, that Yaomi, Xiaomi 12S Ultra? I'm not liking it. It's still over-sharpened crap phone shit. They have 480 frames per second. Thanks for not even beating my Huawei P40 Pro. And they have 3,000 frames. How's that going to look? Worse than my 7,000, for sure. Do they have the motion trigger box? Doubt it. You can't even buy them. I've seen it. From China, they order it and then change it to English and then send it to you. I would do it. It was like $1,249 for a phone that's gonna suck worse than my P40? Give me a break. Break it. So how did the Fuji perform today? Thank you Camera Canada for lending me this lens. 8 to 16, it's heavy. It's a hefty beast. We'll do a little review of it, vlog test and everything. I should have just jumped into that video because this one was purposeless. I just wanted to test this. I actually wanted to test this. But it wasn't chart. Oh, the lens is so wide, it was still in the shot. Oh no. Oh no. Don't you pause that footage. Oh, oh my hands. Oh, that's a disease. That's a disease waiting to happen. That cannot be good. I'm going to leave on a high note after you subscribe and buy a Camera Conspiracies t-shirt at Camera Canada. They don't have them in stock. Order them for me or else. If you order the black market ones, I swear.